guys, EV Gamer 96. Um, I just got off work. I've been meaning to go come on here and record for the longest time since a few weeks ago. I am due to have a tonsillectomy. What it is is I'm having my tonsils removed due to a reoccurring case of tonsillitis. What tonsillitis is, is your tonsils get so swollen that you cannot even swallow. And it hurts to eat, it hurts to drink, it, it hurts. I mean, your t my tonsils have gotten so to the size of golf balls. And I've been terrified that I'm going to end up choking on my tonsils. So, there's that. <laughs> But other than that, I'm I'm excited to get these things out. They've caused me nothing but pain. And it's ridiculous on how how recurring it is. I have tonsillitis at least two to three times a year. And it's ridiculous. I mean, I can deal with a sore throat. But tonsillitis is where I draw the line. I mean, they just get to the point where it even hurts to cough. So, I'm going to end up waking up out of that anesthetics. I'm going to be smiling because I know they're going to be out. So, I'm, I'm excited for that. I'm really excited to get my tonsils out because I just I just can't take them and take it anymore. I could not stress enough to that doctor. I want them out. Is so I'm trying to enjoy everything I can before then because. Once I get them taken out, I have to drink a lot of water to reduce, um, to speed up the healing process, I guess, uh, to make sure my, uh, to make sure I stay hydrated. I uh, gotta eat a lot of cold stuff, some warm stuff. I've looked up some, uh, videos on it what they do is they go in through your mouth and your tonsils are like right here if you pinch right here like go to your jawline and come down like where your jaw like right in the crease of your jaw and your throat if you press right there you can feel the ball of your tonsils if you have them and I have them. Tonsils can be hellacious. But what they do for your sur for the surgery is they go in with like a little cauterizing tool. Basically, they burn your tonsils out. And they, they cut them out, but as they cut, they cauterize it. So it's like a burning tool. A, a cut bur burner, if you say. I don't know how you how you say it, but that's what they do. And I think that's pretty cool. But that's what causes the pain. And then there's this other um, part <sighs> where um, it's at the back, back of your throat, up. Um, I don't know what it's called, but that gets cauterized as well. That gets cut out as well. So... I'm going to be pretty excited when I wake up. Uh, I'm going to give you guys an update. Uh, after the surgery, my pre-op exam is the 10th of June. Yeah, June 10th. And my surgery is June 17th. So keep me in y'all's prayers. I've undergone um, anesthetics before with having my wisdom teeth taken out. Long story there. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Just thought I'd give you guys a heads up on what's going on in my life. 
Just working. Yeah. Well. That's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, I got a dog. His name is Nico. Nico is he's a purebred husky. Uh, I'll be recording a video of him at some point. He is so hyper. Him and Bandit, eh, kind of on the fence on over there. Uh, Bandit, Bandit's, Bandit's my cat. Uh, he he's used to being the lone wolf, if you must say. He's used to being the only fur baby. Well, now he's not. So. We, we got to get him trained up in that position. So. Well, I'm going to let you go. I love you all. You, you guys are so cool. I love y'all. Keep me in your prayers. Eh, this is going to be a cakewalk.